hey guys welcome back to my channel today i wanted to share with you guys these shakers that you see here i joined a shaker swap that is being hosted by tamara on instagram i will go ahead and link her information down below because i don't want to butcher her instagram name even though i think it's urban forger 1973 not sure if that's how you pronounce it but i will link her down below um, and so she had signups for a shaker swap and I like making shakers and all you needed to do was five shakers and that is it, nothing else. So I thought it was easy and these are the shakers that I made here. So first I'll start off with this one here. Now this is the uh, kissing booth by I believe KS Craft, but I mean you can make it anything you want. So I made it like a flower booth. And I'll show you. This time, I actually took out my dies so that I can show you what they kind of look like in case you don't know what they look like. Um, but this is what the die looks like. And then it comes with a little sign that says kisses. So this is from KS Craft. I know that for sure. And then the next one I have is this one right here. And this is a hot air balloon uh, die. And it's also the mix shakers. So, and I added like this um, acetate that has these little like holographic circles on it. I thought it was pretty cute. Um, and that guy is this one here. Um, I got it, where did I get it? Pretty Pink Mix Studio, I think. I'm not sure. My friend Gabby picked it up for me. Um, but yeah, it's this die right here. And then this one right here. I believe it's a KS Craft die as well. And this is their like banner die set. And it's such a cute die. Um, so on some of them, like I did double acetate and some of them I packed them with paper just to mix it up a little bit. And then that die looks like this. It comes with multiple sizes and then it comes with the two parts to make a shaker. And then this one right here is a die from Hobby Lobby. I think I got it last year, no, or two years ago. But it's a rainbow shaker. And this one doesn't shake very much because the space is so little. But um, I thought it was cute, right? Rainbow, springtime, summer, it goes. So I also used um, Paige Evans' paper collection. What is it called? Oh, Bloom Street. I had not used this collection and I got it. When did it come out, you guys? Probably like three years ago or two years ago. Well, yeah. So this is the die for this rainbow shaker. It's this one right here. And it's from Hobby Lobby. And then this one right here. Um, This die is from Tuesday morning, I think. And this is what it looks like. So I just cut it out twice. Then I cut it out again in foam. And well, you know the process. And then this is what this one looks like. This one does shake nicely. And then I used my stickles to kind of give it a little bit of accent everywhere. So they wouldn't be too simple. <laughs> and then the last one here is a clock die by Tim Holtz. But it's a big die. It's this one here. I really like how it came out. I didn't know if the clock would work, but I went with it and I like how it turned out. Um, on this one, I used my Nouveau drops to kind of trace out the butterflies. Um, and I sewed on it a little bit. Um, so yeah, this these are my shakers. I will be sending these off. I think we get back five. You, you send five and you'll get back five. So once I get mine, I will go ahead and share with you guys. I hope everyone is having a great week and is having a good weekend. Today is Saturday and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.